Hi guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. Now in today's vlog it is a 2022 winter morning routine and in a few days time you guys will have the evening routine as well. Now this video has actually been requested from you guys. About two months ago I put on my Instagram story a question box to see what you guys would like to watch and quite a lot of you said that you would like to see a 2022 winter morning and evening routine so here it is this is what happens every single day on my days off slash holidays because if you guys watch my college routine the horses routine is slightly different of a morning and an evening but not much so i start the morning we get here around eight half eight we always make sure that they have enough haylage in the evening just in case we are a bit later but that will all be explained in the evening routine so i hope you guys enjoy we are just arriving to the yard and it is 8 a.m and then i've obviously got to open up the gate with the padlock and then i walk in so we do normally get to the stables every morning between 8 and 8 15 but obviously it's earlier on a college day and then every morning i shout to the horses morning babies it's not a very nice day or it is a nice day or whatever the weather is doing then i have to open up the gate and they have their feed bowls in from the night before so i go and get them out ready to make the breakfast Hello. <laughs> Good boy. So I'm now having a look to see what mess Dan has done and what he has eaten. And obviously, as you can see, there's a bit of haylage in his bowl. So I chuck it out because it's all going to be swept up. So just chuck it out in the stable or outside. And there's still some in there. So I chuck it out. There's my dog, Daisy obviously wanting to be in the vlog once i have dropped dan's bowl up to the food bins i then go back and get dawn's and she always likes to chuck her food bowl at the back of the stable which you guys will see now so i have to reach across because if i open the door she'll just barge you out the way she does not care because she wants to be up with dan to see what food she has also please mind the state of my coat is absolutely filthy and desperately needs a wash but i just love it so much i don't want to take it off then wash out dawn's bowl because she had shavings in there and it wouldn't come out when i was trying to chuck it out with the haylage as you can see so then just chuck it out on the grass and now we eventually make the breakfast for the horses so if you guys want to know what they are both fed then head over to my other videos um i done a vlog a little while ago now on what i feed the horses um the only difference is now to this video and the last video is dawn has a little bit of chaff now because this last week or so she's kind of been going off of her food like she's completely fine because she'll eat danny's no problem at all so she's still eating and things but she's just not eating her own food so we're making it a little bit different by giving her a little bit of chaff and it seems to be working so we don't give her loads because let's face it Dorley doesn't really need it but it's just something that will make her eat it and she'll think she's having the same as dan Sorry guys, it's a little bit messy here because we've got our hay bale, so it's so cramped that it's like everything's so squat. Um, but Dan has one full scoop of his chaff. And then Dawn just has a little bit because she's literally having it to make her eat her breakfast. That's all, and it's the same for the dinner, but you'll see that in the other vlog. That was a little bit too much chaff for her really, but it won't happen.
I then make sure that both the horses have water because it stops them from getting choked. Also, it makes sure that they're having enough water. Um, and Dan also likes having water in his food as well. Then got to give it a good mix round. Now it's actually time to give the horses their breakfast. Now Dan's bucket is so heavy that I have to have both hands to carry it because of the amount of food he has in there. So I obviously give it to Dan first. It's just kind of the pecking order. Dan, then Dawn. And I have to put the food over the barrier of his haylage buckets, which will be moved. And then I walk back and Dawn's actually very good, to be fair to her. Sometimes she will kick her door. Um she's so impatient but she was actually very good this morning so I'll give it to her look at her shaking her head she'll be happy now and she's definitely happy you know she's enjoying it because she does a little head shake there you go and now I, there's Dan eating his breakfast. Now I take out the haylage buckets, empty out what was in there, which as you can see, there was hardly anything in there. Every time I walk into Dan's stable, he thinks I'm gonna give him something, even though he's got his breakfast. <laughs> I then pin the door back because Dan will be going out. There's just a few more things that I need to do before he goes out. But he isn't going to go anywhere with his breakfast. It'd be a different story if he didn't have his breakfast. He, he wouldn't care. He would just walk straight out and expect me to either get him in or struggle outside. Now I do a really bad transition for you guys. But he has his magnetic stable boots on which he wears every single night. So I've now took them off and put his rubber shire overreach boots on. Now yesterday I took him for a ride and he got wet. So I put his dry rag on which is something that I got from Olympia London International Horse Show. If you guys watch that vlog. It was actually the first time putting it on and I literally love it He actually had it on all of last night, so he didn't need it on today So I took it off and just turned him out in his 200 gram rug He's now come out to have a drink. He still had water in his stable So don't ask why he had to come out, but he does always have a drink after eating his breakfast Now he's going out now you guys are probably wondering why Dan's rug is wet when he's been in the stable now i should have got this on video for you guys but dan likes to come out his stable turn around so that his bum's sticking outside and it's just his head in his stable so that's why he's wet already then dawn gets a little bit stressy because she thinks that i'm gonna leave her in there which obviously i'm not gonna do and she should know that by now but she barges and what she doesn't realize is the rubber mat gets stuck on the bottom of the door so i can't open the door easy so she tries to push it but i actually have to push it down with my foot for her to be able to come out but never mind that's dan just happy out in the field god knows why he wants to be out in this weather and then it's the boring job of mucking out now, now you guys are gonna think i'm really weird but i count danny's poos every day i know that he does five to six poos a night um and i know that if there's less there's something not quite right now i've never experienced it obviously i don't want to experience that but at least i know if there's less i know it's not right i know it is strange guys but that's just what i like to do i also monitor how much he drinks so i know he drink drinks about half a bucket obviously some days it is more than that and it can be less but it is normally half a bucket but yeah it's just something i do guys this is me sweeping up the stable and Dawn has to come in and be in the way, so apologies. Now this is the haylage that Dan has wasted. Then I empty the wheelbarrow and then I take out more of the haylage that Dan has wasted. It's really hard with Dan because you either give him too much and he wastes it or so then the next night you give him a bit less so he doesn't waste it and he eats all so you never know if it's enough or not. Then take the equipment down to dawn stable and this is guys where you see the difference what a difference dan stable is swept up nice bed 
We also go to Mull Valley every weekend to get the haylage and bedding for the week. Now this is where I struggled taking his water bucket. It was half full and it was very heavy. Now this is Dan and Dawn out in the field and shooting started to happen. Now they're actually okay here. You can kind of see Dan's like going to do something but he doesn't really. They are completely fine. They're just looking around seeing where the shooting is coming from. So I just watched them for a little bit but didn't look like they were really going to do something so I just carried on filming for you guys. So I don't do their haylage buckets until the evening just because if I do it now it gets all dry and then it's not very nice for them and they don't want to eat it. This is also Dawn stable before we mucked her out. And this is her stable after. Again, what a difference. Now, the horses was going crazy a little bit after I filmed the last two videos. They were galloping around and bucking and I was worried about them slipping and getting an injury so I quickly went out and got them and Dan pulled me all the way down through the field. He was wound up. I have never seen him like this before. No joke. The same as Dawn. And then I discovered that Dan lost his overreach boot out in the field. I swatted it out in the field, so I went and got it. It is absolutely plastered in mud, but I have chucked it in a bucket of water. This is what Dan kept doing, was just box walking around in the stable, but it's all right, he's Dan. obviously still better in Good than boy. out. It's okay. But I'm pleased to say he's chilled out now. So guys, please mind what I look like. It is horrible weather and I'm currently stood in with Dan because there is shooting going on and they were going crazy in there and I was worried about them slipping, getting an injury. So we've brought them in and he literally pulled me across the field. Um, Dawny's in there with Dan as well. I cannot see her. Where are you, Dawny? She's hiding. Just see her bum there. We thought we'll put them in together because obviously Dawny will be down the other end on her own. So it'd be nicer for them to be together. And they've been in for a little while now. And he lost an overreach boot, but I've got it. I dropped the lead rope because I was going to get Dawn in and lead them both in together. But Dawn took off anyway. And I'm pleased because I needed both hands to bring Dan in. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. This is what happens in a winter morning routine and I will see you guys in the evening routine. Please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next time. Bye!